game number one is upon us, friends. Ashani, Seth, let's get it. Yeah, and Algeti, oh my gosh, look at this damage. Look at this advantage state almost going out there for the spike too, but just able to recover in time. Ashani just going to be staying afloat a little bit longer, but then commits all the way out there, still makes it back on with that side special. That's right now, if a character, if there's any character in the game that knows how to keep you keep your ass trapped in the corner or off stage, it's definitely Ashani for that reason right there. Okay, but Evo again trying to get the mix-up started. Again, you know, have, having that Rekka being able to flip up the script and just change the flavor on the fly, has to keep the opponent on their toes. I'm sure Green Falcon very well aware of it. And then, of course, the blinking mechanic. A shiny's meter, full tilt. Let's oh, see yeah. how well it's utilized. Come here. Oh, my gosh. And trying to go for, like, those uh, up specials, I believe, right? By using, like, one of the battery cells to be able to get, like, the max damage that would have been able to KO. But, oh, my gosh. Beautiful stuff. All of a sudden, uh, Evil now up a stock, but only at 44 HP. This one can fly quite easily. I mean, when it comes to two characters like Seth and Ashani, I mean, stocks could literally exist and then go the way of the dinosaurs in a matter of moments. So uh, I would imagine Evil's on his way out with how well Green Falcon has been holding down the neutral immediate on the burst. He said, ain't going to be no party here. Stops it out and, of course, able to get those feet back onto solid ground. Now, of course, as we know in a platform fighter, depending on the characters, the platforms give it, and Ooh. sometimes they take it away. Clean stuff right here from Green Falcon, looking virtually unscathed to 114 HP. Yeah, take it the way they did, indeed, just getting stuck on that platform like that with that side special, a little bit mm. unfortunate, but happens to the best of us. Setting up this edge guard, what's going to be the play here? Comes back on what, what with you the doing? What you doing, Levi? Okay. Sorry, have me, have me afraid for a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, used everything in the kitchen sink to be able to make it back onto the stage. But hey, at least he is living a little bit longer. He makes it back on. No immediate follow-up, though. Ooh, now, y'all know better, man. Don't touch that stove because you know it's hot. Okay, nothing off the forty. Even charged it up right there. Just try to get the timing correct. Okay. Like that. Always has the Ooh. option on the ready coming off the ledge. Utilizing that up air. But wait a damn minute right here. Situation reset. Turning a bad one into a good one. Down tilt. That move be poking. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just backing in, backing out. Now going to be looking for a way to maybe get a spike here. Gets one of the stage spikes. Is that going to be enough? Ooh, but I keeps making it back on with those wall jumps, but a little bit too far down. Not enough resources to make it back, but at least the attempt was, you know, present. That's right, you know. You got to at least make a make an effort to get back to the ledge right here, regardless if there's somebody as talented as a Green Falcon standing above you or not. Green Falcon, of course, is just kind of utilized the movement options. And I think Ashani played at top Ooh. professional level showcases how how important mobility is in this game, but wow, move as you must. Evil has the tools to pin you down in place, even in this thing up, dead even right now. Let's get it. Oh yeah, but okay, getting a little bit of a sequence going, got a good amount oh. of hits in, you know, uh, 42, 32 damage being dealt, definitely nothing to sneeze at at all. Trying to back off a little bit, space out with some of these down strikes. But now, I feel mm. like Evil keeps getting caught on these platforms. Green Falcon's platform pressure this entire game has been so good. Just always catching him stuck, always catching him uh, pressing a button that he shouldn't. Yeah, no doubt about that. And I feel like the issue is that both characters just do so well when the platforms are in play. I mean, of course, as platform fighters go, if I got a sword and platforms are in play, I can abuse these. I can make sure that you don't land for free. Then I can also extend combos that wouldn't typically be there if these platforms weren't. Oh, yeah. But same turn of breath, you know, a shiny. She wants to turn as many hits, you know, one hit, excuse me, as many hits as possible. And I think Green Falcon doing just that. 85% right here, 85 HP, excuse me. And Evil right now just struggling right here to find an opening. Yeah, not able to find any of these falling Ooh. up. He's not able to dash jump down either. And now this huge, Ow. huge combo for Green Falcon. Oh, you ain't, he ain't nothing nice. Green Falcon ain't nothing nice. And these replays are going to prove just that. Okay, this nice. So Off the sick. feet. Good lord. And then just when you thought it was safe. And I feel like he still had the burst on the ready too, but just couldn't find the moment to go for it. And I love Green Falcon's presence oh. of mind off stage. So we've even seen just a little bit before in their previous interactions, holding out the forwarder just to time the option properly enough. Gets the KO out there in the corner. Green Falcon goes up again. But let's see what game number two brings us here, Dar. As we know, it ain't about how you start. You know it's about how you finish in a game like Rush Yeah. And granted, you can get a lot of really potent juggles out as Seth on this kind of a stage. You want something to platform it means up air is going to be such a huge tool. But does that matter when you're stuck off stage? This is where Evil has lost all of the stocks thus far. Makes it back on with that up special, but Green Falcon is not letting up this pressure. Absolutely just exploiting not. his disadvantage. And that's the tough part. I feel like Levi is better at playing like the Flores Lava game just due to, again, the physicalities of Seth. But when it comes to the corner control, oh. yes, I have the mix of options on the offense, but when it comes to recovering, I kind of know where you're going to go. You want to get back to the ledge you're going to try to utilize the wall jump or maybe even to the burst and mix me up my down air slash down to take no prisoners in the corner okay 
Evo oh, right now looking better here, though. Of it, though. Oh, that Evo! Okay, no, back up. Hands off to whatever the hell I got on this nice little denim jacket here. Back it up. Yeah, now let's stock up, but granted, this is still like such a volatile lead. Not able to get that Ooh. up special off, able to get that punish out of the block. And now the question is, will he be able to get that spike? Green Falcon does not fully execute, well, but Levi is still stuck ah. off stage, and that is going to be the stock. Wow. That's right, back air looking strong. Guys, go for the spark right there. Gets back onto the ledge here, but going, going to be burstless here for a little while. Doesn't seem to matter, though. I think just looking at how that last game wrapped up, you know, we didn't see a lot of that really come into play. And that's typically because, you know, it felt like Green Falcon just really wasn't in the disadvantage at all. Uh oh, don't ever sling first though it ain't your turn yeah a little bit too far back miss space that ended up getting with punish could have been a little bit worse though so luckily only taking so many hits okay corner control back on deck here this time going out faking him out there a little bit more nice gets the double parry nothing off of it though but again that down tilt really setting the tone there that them legs be leg and i tell Ooh. you but the, oh them swings be swinging though what you doing off stage right yeah. now evo with a bit of a leap very curious to see how well he's going to hold on to it here in this match there are a bit of a, a momentum reset if you will he comes off of the ledge swinging, and he's waiting for it too. Now he is the one that has a stock lead, and it's actually growing. It's starting to become his advantage. It looks like he has a lead for the first time in this entire set thus far. Trying to control the ground, really good stuff. Good recognition from Green Falcon to jump. Just say, hey, I'm not messing with that. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, no doubt about that. Yeah, you don't you don't want to see him in that in that regard at all. Okay, nothing off. Okay, it looks like the beginning of a back air was coming out. Stuffed out right there from Evil again. Utilizing that up air a lot. But ain't an up air in the world strong enough to save it from what's coming right here. Green Falcon looking good. He said, look, I'm down. But I ain't out yet, though, homie. Don't count me out yet. Okay, nice. Parry on the down tilt. Very clean. Again, like Zerong, you know, that down tilt, a party starter or party finisher, I guess, in their case. But it do not seem to matter. Evil living up to the name. Ain't nothing nice about what's going on off stage here. Looking so good with all those up specials, especially. He's just been mm -hmm. using it to extent. He's using it to get so much damage off. Tries to go for the high recovery. Has to air dodge back onto the ledge. And finally makes it back on. Whole stock lead. And he is looking to lap Green oh, Falcon. <laughs> Sorry, I had a... <coughs> What the heck is what I meant to say, Dar? You know what I was trying to say. Okay? Yeah. We got to keep it family friendly, all right? I'm trying to keep it as family friendly as possible. So this gameplay is bringing, bringing the, the goon out of me. Okay, oh evil gosh. right now. A little bit of control right here in the corner. A complete turnaround for what we see in the last game here. Trying to take away that top platform. Green Falcon has got so much off the platform. Extensions in game number one right here. Eve, oh. Evil has just closed out all opportunities for advancement on these platforms. I like the early recovery, the early up special, just in case Green Falcon have opted for the jump thing. And now looking through that falling forward, this is so even. Or, I, is what I would say, Green Falcon is one hit away from losing. Wait a damn minute, okay. Nice, backing off here as much as possible. As you know, I mean, again, a shiny, strong character, a bit, a bit oh. stubby, <laughs> and a, oh my goodness, a bit out of sight right there from the ledge of the stage, Levi. Breath of fresh air right there. Sigh of relief, whatever you want to call it. Lives to fight another day right here. But let's see how this next game goes right after these replays here. Now, I got to really give it to Green Falcon. Again, a shiny, when played properly, really showcases the beauty of this game, which is the mobility options. But yeah. Evo just stuffing them out and pinning them down in place. Yeah, uh, I honestly respect that like spike attempt. I thought it was a pretty good idea. Yeah. It was just like, you know what, if this connects, I win. You know, I'm going through like the Hail Mary. It didn't, you know, necessarily resolve exactly uh, the way that he wanted it to, but that is A-okay. Yep, We're yep. going to be going on to the next game. Well, let's see what this one brings us here. Both sides have had the opportunity to adapt to each other. Okay, has to waste the burst right there. Gets back onto the stage, though, but that falling upper as kind of uh, the bane, I guess, of uh, Evil's existence right here. Wow. Mega unfortunate uh, a mid of an SD to kick this match off. I got to tell you, if there's ever a way to kill your momentum, it's definitely that. But let's see if he can swing it back into his favor again. A shiny, not the longest character in the world, a bit stubby on the swing. So where she kind of lacks in, in physical, uh, you know, just durability, she makes up in movement options. But when you have the lead, do I really need to approach anymore? Yeah. Let's keep it a stack. Not at all. But again, he keeps trying to shark with all these falling up airs, and why not? You know, that's basically by up upper. That thing is big, that thing is active. Mm -hmm. It is so, so generous. He like spear recovery from Brawlhalla as well, right? Uh, and he's Ooh. just making the most out of it. Such a good combo starter, such a good all coverage options. Yeah, and right now you get a little imaginative with the combos. I mean, I have the lead here. You have to come to me. Oh my goodness. He said, ask and you shall receive. Now, yes, even stocks. Looks like the HP tells a slightly different story here, but as we know, uh, you know, what really is a lead in a game like a rest down, as we've seen just courtesy of that last game, there's the up air though, nothing off of it. And again, these up airs from up underneath this platform, kind of reminds me of Kalos and Ultimate, where you think the platforms are your friend, and depending on the matchup, they're kind of not. 
Oh yeah, no, this game is fast. Ooh. There's no such thing as a lead, but somebody can take out stocks so, so quickly, and you're gonna be stuck off stage. Oh. Remember when I said there's no such thing as a lead? Well, there it is. Levi, with just the positional pressure alone, uh, was able just to sort of scale Green Falcon off and kind of ended up as the ink. Now let's see how long this lead can last here right now. Again, the mobility options from Ashani feel unmatched at times, gets the throw. That should be enough to do it. That's right, last hit, last ditch effort right there on the down, so that's gonna get it done now. Got ourselves an even game here once more. Green Falcon not letting up, and neither is Evil. This corner control is scary business. Now, a character as long as Seth or Wayshawn can just stand right underneath the platform and take away all options. If you get up off that ledge improperly, I got you covered. You go high. Trust me, this up air ordinaire is going to get this party started. But wait a damn minute. Yeah, that's Wait a gonna damn be the minute. stage spike. Had no air dodge. He had no more resources left to his name. Mm -hmm. And that is what happens when you bring them a little bit too much out there. All you need is one poke just to shove them down just a little bit enough to be able to take out that stock. And now gonna be stuck off stage using all of them again. Such a good catch, such a good down throw. Mm -hmm. And that just shows how well Green Falcon is up close and personal. I mean, again, you know, a character like Wei Shine or Seth, they're gonna spend a lot of time kind of spacing around you, looking for an overextension so they can try to catch you and then get the party started, especially for Evil's case, has that record, can really mix things up. But the fact that, you know, Green Falcon just walks up, goes through the double <laughs> parry or just walks up and holds block and like, yo, swing first. I don't care, I'm not afraid. That's oh, yeah. the mark right there of a poised competitor. Evil is committing so much to these, but that time again, Green Falcon a little bit too late on actually being <gasps> able to punish the end leg. Big combo, good damage. Mm -hmm. Now there's the back air, of course. Okay, now wait a minute. 80 HP is, is is a lot of grease left to cook with. Okay. Oh yeah. I can't I can't call him out just yet, but Green Falcon right now understands what's at stake. Oh my goodness! Nice reads the option in so clean. Okay, nice options hanging off the ledge there. Tried to wait as much as possible and then was able to get over the ledge before the spike sent him back off there. He kept his composure, he kept his feet planted onto the stage, but at 14 health, this is so dangerous. Can you make this comeback? That is the million dollar quest and we're gonna have to see how it all unfolds. Gets up close in person. That's the game Ashani wants to play. Now caught in the corner. As we know, this is exactly <gasps> where Green Falcon has been their most dangerous. That down tilt serving him no justice. Oh, wait my. a minute. God. Almost able to get it with the up special, too. Has even it up, but oh now on last hit. Okay, last hit on lock right here. You have to play the stock of your life right now. The finesse has to be ever so present, oh. and it do not seem to matter. Green Falcon leaving Evil Green with Envy right there on that last game. Now, this is where things get a little spooky mm -hmm. here. Do I stay Seth? I know that Evil has a couple characters in their arsenal. Don't want to count out the stuff just yet. The character is crack cocaine. But every character in this game is pretty damn good. Yep. The, the biggest thing at the end there was just like, you know, as Seth, you rely on just, you know, creating a little bit of space between you and your opponent, right, yes. ideally. Uh, when you're on last hit, there's immediately that pressure of like, yo, I cannot get hit by anything. I can't get hit by a poke, mm -hmm. by a neutral tool, absolutely nothing. If you're just able to threaten somebody to give up enough space, that's how you're able to secure hits against an opponent no that's constantly retreating. Yeah, no doubt about that. I feel like, you know, spacing and this positioning is everything in this game, especially in a matchup like this where it's shiny again. She has the ability, of course, to really showcase those movement options, has the ability to blink and find some easier points in but of course you can't blink forever sooner or right. later i mean hell let's be honest i mean seth can do the same damn thing too and has a goddamn weapon in his hand so I me mean, really have to watch your position before situations like this happen nice Okay, just trying to stall his descent a little bit longer, but Green Falcon is just not having any of it. Tries to go for that second hit, luckily sending Evil back on towards the stage. Wait a minute. But, oh, tries to go for it all. Are you going to be able to make it back onto the stage? No, not unfortunately quite. not. Drops down to your untimely demise. No platforms as well here, friends. So the platform, uh, you know, just extensions and everything out of the picture. Very curious to see how the sharking game is going to work. What happens when I catch you out of a jump? What happens when you are out of resources? How well do we juggle? Because as it shows, the uppers were ever so present in that last game from Green Falcon, but the falling upper oh. is a presence and just a force right here from Evil, but not on that stock. Yeah, no, not at all. Okay, now starting to even up this damage. All of a sudden, Green Falcon has built himself up a lead. How do you make it back onto the stage? Evil keeps on committing to those, and he keeps on whipping, and that's always Green Falcon's opening to get out of this advantage. Yeah. Fortunately enough here, these falling uppers is kind of the bane right here of Green Falcon's existence. Can't quite figure out how to get back onto solid ground here. Okay, nice. Again, these aerials have just been a thorn in Green Falcon's side. Green Falcon are finally getting them, them, them boots, whatever she got on, back onto the dirt, but I don't want to call it out quite yet because they play so well in the corner. Courtesy of that game number Ooh. one, those down tilts were a force. Wow. 
Okay, the question is, will Le uh, Evil actually get punished through this? Not quite. Green Falcon able to make it back on with an excellent Uva Usul. Only needs a couple of hits to be able to take the stock out. And good stuff from Evil keeping his lead, but albeit a Wait very a gentle one. Yeah, so very delicately. I mean, you could pull the plug right here and just lose the stock Ooh. here at any moment. Of course, Evil very well aware of the dangers of, going, of course, up near or up air, watching how well they jump. Ashani is an anti-airing machine if you give her the chance. Uh-uh. Okay, but so is Seth, though. He said, wait a minute, I can, I can anti-air as well, too. Yeah, excellent use of the boost. They were just able to get Ashani off of him. He's alive a little bit longer, but the question is, will it matter at all? Oh. Bye. Au revoir, my friends. Get out of here. It has a free spirit for every single one if it's going to kill you. That's so funny. <laughs> It's just like so disrespectful, like, okay, I need to make sure that you stay dead. That's right, ain't gonna you be no sequels know. here. <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. Can't quite get the party started again. Seth and that wreck, I mean, that is just the stuff of nightmares. We see it in other fighting games with like Sora or like Fei Long and Street Fighter. Which way am I gonna go with it? Whichever way I go, are you gonna have the option covers on or the ready? Does not seem to matter. Nothing off the forwarder as well, too. In game number one, we've seen a lot of, you know, charge forwarders in this. Oh. There, there it is. Okay, I called it out. There. Oh, 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 what, oh. wait that a minute. That was an SD. The side blast sounds a little bit too near, though. Wow. Green Falcon, I'm pretty sure if he would have connected, he might not have actually gone so far to the side. At least he would have taken Evil with him. And now all of a sudden, he gave up that lead. He gave that to Evil. Now the question is, can you bring it back? Can you, uh, you know, uh -oh. amend? I mean, that is the million dollar question. We're going to have to see. I mean, an unfortunate stock loss like that means now you're just working uphill even more because mm -hmm. you're already kind of struggling again in the reach game. Seth, characters like Seth the way shines are just so much longer than a shiny. So now she has to work twice as hard and keep it extra and big. It's on her approach. Options gets the KO off the top right there. You thought it was going to, it was going to be a four there. I kind of mixed you up a little bit here, but make no mistake right here. Ain't no mix ups right here on Evil's behalf. These up airs have just been, again, a presence here in this match. It's been really tough right here for Green Falcon to work around. There's another one. Yeah, Green Falcon Ooh, just doing such a good job of avoiding shit. that every single time. That does not matter. Evil's still going to be able to take game number two, or game number three, excuse me, mm -hmm. going to be taking us to a game five. Granted, there's a couple of unfortunate SDs on Green Falcon's yes. behalf, but overall, I feel like Evil was giving up space a little bit less. That's the difficult part about playing somebody who relies on a lot of disjoints, somebody who relies on spacing somebody out. Mm -hmm. You have only so much stage to give up to retreat with, so you have to make sure that you're not giving up too much. There are times that Evil put himself into the corner that Green Falcon was then able to take advantage of. Yeah. That was then able to use that as the opening to jump in. 100%. I have to add to that as well, too. I think, again, when there's just no platforms present, you know, I think uh, you know, Evil just kind of comes alive a little bit more, understanding that now I can play your disadvantage game just a little bit better than I could when platformers mm. were present. Now, again, not to take anything away from Seth. Seth does really well with platforms, not so much with the overextensions, uh, but also the standing right up underneath and being able to go for stuff like up tilt, you know, short hop, nair, falling up there as well. But being able to take that away from a shiny kind of made all the difference here. But unfortunately enough, his Seth kind of back into a corner right now, nothing off the downer, but I've I seen them boots coming though. Okay, trying to get that side trick. Not going to be able to find it dashing in, dashing out, just being really patient. And uh -oh. then, good block. That was such a good block to be oh. able to bait that uh, attack in. Hey, nice. Yeah, so I'll go for the immediate burst, killing that momentum and trying to mix up the landing options. Indeed, it do not matter, though. Green Falcon with a little bit of a lead right here. 81 HP on deck. Now, this is a very scary position right here for Evil to be in because now he has to approach. He can still play the spacing game, as you can see. It's all about positioning on a stage like this. He knows I have to approach. Don't want to be too aggressive, but I also don't want to leave up underneath this platform. I'm very, very long. You jump above me. I can get the party started. You yep. stay grounded. I can try to catch with my command grab. Not getting too much of that, though. Yeah, makes it back onto the stage, just waiting a little bit, stalling with that stomp oh, as well. Oh, oh, oh. But again, Green Falcon keeps on finding these down throws, sets up that juggle, gets that extension, and that movement to retreat back onto the stage. That fake out, that down it, that was all Green Falcon. That was sick. That was very, that was a sexy right there. That was just some great movement right there. And again, that's what makes the shiny so dangerous in a game like this. Nobody quite moves like her. And I, I got to really give it to him, the fake out, making it sense I was going to come off the stage because he's been conditioning with down air and forward yep. air for so much. Let you make the mistake for him. You Walk keep right into their web. immediately oh. the options. You see just jumping ah. out there. But can he make it back on? Oh, yes, you can. Wow. Okay. Falling up there. To get anything off it. Nothing off the down tilt. Staying into the corner right here. This is where things get a little scary right here. Poor Evil has to make a play here and fast. Last hit right here on the stock. Less is more. You don't even got to swing big. Even a grab can get it done. It don't seem to matter, oh my though. Gosh. 
tries to commit to it all, but is that going to be another SD? Yes, it will be. It happens. You okay. know what? Whenever Green Falcon does have a lead, we really see him just going out there, just trying to go for the biggest possible commitment. I respect it. It ends up resulting in an SD, but hey, when you got a two to four, uh, four to two stock lead, excuse me, yeah. uh, you could get away with it. Yeah, you can go for stuff like that. You get a little imaginative as well, too, off stage. Does not seem to matter though right now. Evil, unfortunately enough, ain't looking evil enough. Green Falcon looking so damn poised right here to move on to this next portion of bracket. Okay, and it feels like evil right now just kind of balls to the wall here. He said, you know what, look, I'm down. I'm about to just swing big and see what I can get. And honestly, I don't blame him. Oh, oh my lordy lord. Please get back to the stage here, Mr. Evil. Okay, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Those SDs are slowly starting to bite Green Falcon in the butt, but the issue is evil 26. HP, this isn't looking so good. Okay, pops it. How do you get something going again? Okay, let's see how much left he has in the tank. Nice, has to spend a little bit of that meter right there to get back onto the stage now. Uh-oh, okay, both sides on the oh. miss right here, and Green Falcon's able to close that one out. To be honest, that whole set was a nail-biter, but it really felt like Green Falcon just tapped into that top player, like, energy activated that chip in his brain and was like, yeah. look, I'm, you nice, you might be good, but I'm better, okay, homie? Yeah. I feel like something that Green Falcon did exceptionally well was just by virtue of some of his positions, by virtue of some of his buttons, the way that he jumps out there and then jumps back onto the stage, yes. he was just able to 